What's up, people? Welcome back. Well, it's time for another Comments Corner. This is where I pick a video and comment on some of your comments. In this case, the video is by XP. Hello, hackers, or upgrade already. Uh, there are only this particular one here I just uploaded yesterday. There's only 18 comments, so I should be able to read all of your comments in a relatively short amount of time. Kevin Bragdon says, Chromebooks, yes. Linux PC, no. Um, and yes, Pope Bishop replies, Chromebooks run a type of Linux. Yeah, um, Android is a type of Linux, so Chrome OS or Chromebooks running Chrome OS, uh, yeah. Uh, if, if mainly if you are an XP user and, 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 and if all you did or mostly what you did is to go online, Chromebooks are an excellent alternative. Uh, you know, from what you've been using, they start at about two hundred dollars on Amazon. Uh, free updates for light, free uh, for life, free upgrades to the system for life. I do believe, and they base they are basically designed. Not all, some have the capacity of a of a large hard drive to store s uh, stuff. But if mainly what you do is to go online, and if you like Google Docs, Google Drive, and stuff like that, Chromebooks are perfect. Andre Zladin Show, Tech News. Hello, Andre. By the way, you can put Windows 7 on any computer, even an old PC, without Yuffie, or Goofy, as they call it. <laughs> uh, unlike Windows 8 and above, 1 gigabyte of RAM is not really necessary for it. Uh, my reply was, if you can smoothly run Win 7 with everything running with just 1 gigabyte of RAM, then show me. Of course, if you don't play games, you should be fine. Well, yes, I have tested Win 7 uh, with 512 megabytes of RAM. It will run, but I really don't recommend it. All right, Pope Bishop says, I'm starting to lean heavily towards Manjaro as a newbie, a uh, friendly alternative for former XP users, but I say that with bated breath. Ah. Uh, Anyway, Ubuntu, yes, as much as I dislike Canonical, their OS is still one of the best for Linux beginners. I would say so. The same with Mint, but not Mint Debian, not yet at least. Um, I did reply, uh, as, as, as far as Manjaro goes, you really should read the documentation. Yes, Linux Mint is terrific for newbies. Uh, so far for myself, I didn't, don't recall any problems with Mint Debian or LMDE. Uh, Pope replies back, that's why I hesitate recommending Manjaro to newbies, though one day I think it would fit right into the beginner-friendly category. Certainly a possibility there, Pope. As for LMDE, though, I like it. It is a solid distro. Some of the rough edges might scare a fresh-faced Linux newcomer into the arms of an undesi undesirable, undesirable mistress. Insert evil corporation. Gee, let me guess. Yeah, maybe not. Tank Commando 1776. I inherited an old IBM computer uh, model POS. <laughs> okay. Uh, piece of stable, right? This thing is so old, it has a Win98 sticker on it. Oh my goodness. When I got it, though, it had XP. Uh, so I wanted to put a Linux Easter on it. Okay, I tried Linux Lite and the graphics card can handle it. Then I tried Ubuntu 12.04. Yeah, I, I didn't think that would work. Uh, it, it didn't even load on the desktop. Okay, tried Puppy Linux and it works pretty good. Um, great. Uh, maybe Lubuntu may have worked too. I don't know. LiX. Hmm, if it's a virus on an external hard drive, it does not matter what the OS is anyway. It's not like the day Windows support ends, your computer is now running a host of nasty, bad stuff. Uh, let's see what else you say. Lee, most computers I come across are already running a bunch of unwanted software, XP28, as they do not bother to look at Google search. I guess you mean users. They are clicking on Google adverts, allowing bad sites and ads to do a search for iTunes, and you see some random bad sites at the top. For most who can't switch at the moment, use Opera, Chrome, Firefox. You should not use Internet Explorer even on a fully up-to-date system. Um, yes, if you insist on running Windows XP, and you should not, I cannot stress that enough, do not run Internet Explorer. Opera, Chrome, and Firefox should be uh, more secure. 
But keep in mind, you still have an unstable system. But if you must, yes, run one of those browsers. Um, as, as, as far as viruses and external drives, you're right. It doesn't necessarily matter if, if you're running Windows XP or something else. But, uh, you know, if, if you are transferring an infective external hard drive if, to another hard drive without first checking or pre-checking, your files with an antivirus scanner before putting that into that first hard drive as it were yes you then the, all, all you're doing is just transferring viruses okay at mundo studios but if you don't do any shopping online or banking i don't see how your pc would be at risk um well once again lee x says if you're using uh Chrome, Opera, Firefox, the next piece of support, support ending is mostly non-issue, but you should be on Windows 7 a long time ago. Can't fix social issues with users who unwittingly, un, unwittingly willing installing unwanted software or ransom software. Yes, it still comes down to the user in terms of being most secure, but I still say just don't run Windows XP to be sure or as sure as possible. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, nobody should be using S XP as a primary OS, but it's nice to have around if you would like to run some old 16-bit programs every now and then. But I, I think Windows 7 and Windows 8 uh, has a compatibility uh, software uh, built in to help you run uh, some of those programs, a, a compatibility assistant. I, I forget what it's called. I, I think you guys know what I mean, but I think it'll run some of that. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. All right, Charlie Barkin says, I already ditched Windows XP, uh, my netbook, my desktop, PC, my Dell laptop. Instead, I run Windows 7, Solid X, Solid, Solid X. Yeah, the Linux distro, I believe the Solid XK or K, something like that. All right, so you have it on your Dell laptop, Solid X on desktop, and Windows 7 on the netbook. I am still planning to get a new notebook PC base on AMD E1 processor with 4 gigs of RAM and 500 gigabytes of hard drive space. I'm going to run Solid X Linux on it. It is fun to know how Linux has changed the way I use my computer these days. I love running Linux. Yeah, it's terrific. Obviously, you know, with Linux, it is a viable al alternative for some beginners, not all, if they have been used to Windows all their lives. Certainly running a Linux uh, running a Linux distro that is more user friendly, uh, give it a go. If you know, of course, it, it, there may be some you know Windows users out there who you know would rather just buy a new computer, and you can certainly buy a Linux-based computer such as a Chromebook. And if you're really, really more comfortable with you know with Windows, that's fine too. You know, you know Windows Seven is something I use, and that's fine. Well, speaking of Linux, uh, the latest poll is Ubuntu going in the right direction. Yes, no, maybe. 31 days left to vote, if you haven't already. Finally, I'm thinking about doing a, adding a weekly short video podcast on weekly gadget deals based on the uh, Amazon top 500 or top 100 bestsellers, since all of us have used Amazon at one time or another. Uh, I was browsing through it today, and this caught my eye because this, this is something I bought right after I bought my Xbox 360 Slim. The internal 4 gigabyte hard drive just was not going to cut it. So I bought a 250, I think it's a 250 gigabyte hard drive to hold all of my hold all of my son's downloads, as it were. He just downloaded some last week in Zombies of Decay or State of Decay. I, I don't know. 20 bucks. Hmm. And he's finished it already. Anyway, uh, if this is something you would like to see on a weekly basis, me commenting and you know about a weekly gadget deal, something that I may have purchased or something that I may think about buying, let me know. Or maybe it's something you've had purchased and would like to comment about it. All right, well, that's it for this one. Uh, thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future. Ciao.